right, quick video here showing you Sacred Futures, the newest expansion. And I'm also gonna show you the new polysynth that comes with Machine. So we'll look at a couple ideas that I came up with on the Machine Plus. And what I did is I took my battery pack and Sacred Features and I sat there and I played around with it and then brought those ideas back to the studio so that I can play with them in here works perfectly and probably my favorite thing about the machine plus is just getting out of the studio trying some stuff out and then bring it back here and flushing it out so sacred features is another expansion by snipe young and i've reviewed some of his stuff in the past and man they're just really packed with good sounds so if you're into this hip-hop jazzy kind of stuff you're going to find a lot in here the point of this video is so that you can decide if this is one that you want to get right now or if it's one you want to hold out on. So I'm not getting paid to make these videos, but they do send me the expansion for free and I have affiliate links in the description. So this first little idea started with the Jassy kit. I think initially the term jazz was jazz. So there you go, some, some history for you. But let's have a listen to this little idea so far. So you get the idea there, some kind of neo soul type chords. So if I look at the kit, we've got some really beautiful chords with some, some extended harmonies in there. And then just played around with those. And then what I also did is I put an EQ on there. So if you listen to this without the EQ, So you can hear without the EQ, it's very muffled sounding. And so what I did is I boosted the high frequencies at a couple different spots. And then I also went down to the low frequencies and cut the low frequencies. I could use a filter, that'd probably be a better way to do it. But I cut the low frequencies so that I can go in and put my own bass line in there. So now it's just the top end. Nothing fancy in there. The only other thing I will say that I did in that is I put all these sounds onto one choke group. So you go to pad mode and you make sure that they are all on their own choke group so that they cut each other off. Otherwise they would blend into each other. Next we've got the Knox kit. And all I did with that one was I played a beat in. And then I went and refined it by moving my bass drum hits to line up exactly with what I had done with the chords. I could have sat there and played it until I got it right, but I was just being a little bit lazy. So let's try the same thing with the bass. So I've got a bass patch here on group C, and this one comes from the polysynth. So in order to find sounds for the polysynth, all you have to do is update to the newest version, obviously. And then I'm just gonna go to the browser here on machine and go to sounds machine and then make sure you go to polysynth on the far right. You'll also find that in the software if you're on uh, Machine Micro or something like that. And we've got 250 presets that come with the polysynth. If you want to use polysynth without touching the presets, all you have to do is click on sound, click the, the plus, and then go to internal polysynth. And now you're gonna get a default patch of the polysynth. So super simple, but it has all of the controls you need for a beautiful polysynth. And it's modeled after the Pro 53, which I think was the very first native instrument synth I ever had, the Pro 53. It was a profit emulation a long time ago. And uh, it sounded great, but they, they discontinued it. Now we've got pretty much the same thing here in this little polysynth. And with these instruments on machine, there's, there's nothing fancy when you look at it. It's like you've got these pages of parameters and that's kind of it, but it's kind of all you need. If you look at my beautiful Juno 6 over there, it's got a whole lot less features on it and you can create some incredible sounds with it. So polysynth, there we've got our things like filter, filter envelope, so you can play with the resonance. Different types of filters. Then we go over to filter envelope. Let's crank up the attack on our patch. A bit more of a pad sound. And then let's go back over to filter and crank up the envelope amount.
Now we can hear that filter opening up over time as it as I hit the note. Let's crank the release up. And we can hear how the filter shuts down right away. And then the note kind of decays. And then the note kind of releases. But what if we want the filter envelope to follow that? Do the same thing. Let's put it up to about 0.64 there. Now we can hear the filter closing down as the note is releasing. So what I should probably do is do one more video going over all of the complexities of this little synth. But for now what we'll do is just stick to the presets. So this preset that I do have on here is called Dark Bass. And I'm just going to play something in along with this little idea. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little tidy on that. Maybe we'll quantize at 50%. I think I'm going to cut the bass out on the snare hit. So basically, for beats two, I'm going to try and keep those clean sometime. Nice. Now we need some kind of strong hit that happens right on that beats two and four. Something kind of like this percussion thing we got right here. I'm going to go to my uh, polysynth patch. I'm just going to filter out some of those buzzy higher frequencies. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is just come up with a synth line for this. I'm going to go to browser and I'm going to go to polysynth and I'm going to go to uh, synth lead. Okay, so for this little idea, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with each sound as I added them and just sort of break them down for you. So we've got this chakra kit first, which is Sacred Futures kit, obviously. And this one's a really neat kit. It's 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 in some ways it's kind of limiting because you've got the kick and the snare have the hi-hats in it. So all I was doing was going like this. So literally just playing those back and forth and then I went through and played these chords. So that's all coming from one kit, the chakra kit. Really nice sounding kit. And we got this huge bass drum that comes in as well. Okay, so the next thing I've got in there is this jar bass and let's have a listen to that one. That's the jar bass, just played that one in on the Machine Plus. So we could go and have a look at a couple of the loops that come with Sacred Futures loops. And we can see that we got 427 loops in there. And I went over to the guitar. So that was the loop that I used and all I did is go in there and chop it up. So I turned it into a sampler and then went to sampling, slice, I went to detect and then 
turned out the slices and got those slices, put them down on a group, and then just played them over here on group D. So let's just erase this one for now. And there it is. And then let's listen to the pattern that I got going there. Next, we've got concrete hits in here, percussive sounds. So that's concrete hits kit. I love that sound. So the thing I'm finding with this library is just lots of fun percussive things that you can add to other kits. And then next we've got this orchestral strings thing that I did in the polysynth. And for this one, the patch called orc string, orchestring, polysynth. And then I went to chords mode on the machine. And when I'm playing on the machine plus, I can't sit there and play these complex chords. So I'm kind of stuck with whatever I can find in the chord sets on machine. And it just so happens that we have some really great chord sets already. I can't wait for them to increase this or to open it up so we can put our own chord sets in there. I think that's my number one feature request for machine. It's just the ability to add other chord sets in or to manipulate the ones that we already have. But don't forget when you're working with chord sets, it's just chucking MIDI in so you can go change those notes afterwards. It's just a little bit more tedious. I went to chord set minor five and this one's got some really beautiful chords in it. Start with a new pattern here and see if I can get something similar. There we go. So now we've got some more complex chord progressions and I had to obviously learn the chord progressions that I was playing, but sort of figured this out as I was going and came up with an eight bar phrase that is melodically more interesting or harmonically more interesting than just the same thing going over for four bars. So that's what I've got going on there. And then what you could do after you've played in these chords is try adding some extra notes. So this one up there and then let's move this guy. So that gives you an idea how you can mess around with the chords from the chord sets and not be limited to what they are, but use them as a starting point. They've got some really interesting voicings in there. So definitely worth digging into. And then the last thing we've got is the vibes and that vibes is a vibes patch right from polysynth. And that one, all I did was use the arpeggiator. So I put it in chords mode. I went to chord set minor five, same as the last one, press the art button. And the coolest thing about the ARP button and chord mode is that if you do one chord, it'll cycle through it. And you can see that I've got it cycling down to two octaves. So if I just go one octave, it's just going to do the couple of notes that whatever this chord is. So I go two octaves. complex that's already sounding. Now watch what happens if I hold two chords down. It's really complicated. So it's, it's super fun to just try these random things out and just see what shows up. And if you're using the chord sets, you're going to find chords that are usually going to work with the harmony of what you're working with in your song. So let's try a new pattern with that one and then we'll be done with this little idea.
fun playing around with the arpeggiator and doing some different things with that, with the different chord sets. And then with these beautiful new synths we have with the polysynth, definitely worth checking out and it's free with the latest update. Sacred Futures, on the other hand, is something you gotta purchase. So hopefully this gives you a little taste as to some of the, the sounds in there. I'm kind of just scratching the surface. So make sure you go check out Bo Tyler and Uncle Knock. I'll put links to their videos in the description. They both have reviews on Sacred Futures and Bo Tyler even just goes through and walks you through all the sounds that are in there and then Uncle Knock goes and makes some amazing beats like he always does. So go check out those videos and stay tuned for Beats and Chats. Speaking of Uncle Knock, he's going to be the first guest on this show and I think it's going to be awesome. You guys are all going to love it. So coming up in about a week and a half or so. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the bell and we'll see you in the next video.